to another segment of cooking. This time, an eggplant parmigiana. I used to watch my mum and my aunt Graziella cooking and, and making an eggplant parmigiana. It's time consuming, but the work and effort is very much rewarding. And for the time that you put into it, I know it's a family favourite, and as soon as it gets pulled out, it gets eaten. And there's nothing more joyful than to watch your food be eaten. Come along and join me as I show you how to prepare and how to cook an eggplant parmigiana. Jojo here with another delicious dish. Now what I like about this particular dish is that I don't have an amount of quantity that I can tell you. So I only have an estimate. It's another one of those recipes where you have to sort of feel your way through. So to begin with, these are the ingredients. So you will need, and I've selected, three eggplants. You'll also need some good quality tomato passata, two eggs, good quality parmesan cheese grated, breadcrumbs, and I use gluten free because I have some gluten free members of the family so I choose to use gluten free and of course it's also lighter on the stomach. And the best thing of all is that oh, basil, can't get better than this herb, it's absolutely beautiful. The other thing you also need is olive oil. And you will also need olive oil to shallow fry your eggplant. But let's begin. So the first thing you need to do is cut up your eggplants. And what I find the best method, you can either use a knife and slice it yourself or use a mandolin if you've got one. The other thing we're gonna do is purge them. So you will also need some salt for that. But anyway, Without further ado, let's get cracking! Once completed cutting up your eggplant, you need to lay it all out. We will salt them and we will purge them. Once salted, let them sit for an hour so they will purge and they will actually sweat. Then we'll come back, towel drying them as we go, and we will shallow fry them. taught me one little trick. Let it drain overnight so that all the oil will drain and you won't get a greasy eggplant parmigiana. Welcome back. This is the assembling part. So I have infused my passata with garlic. No salt because I find that there is enough salt in the parmesan cheese and because we had already purged the eggplants I find that there's also a sufficient salt that's been absorbed into that. Basil, eggplant, breadcrumbs. 
So we start off by layering our first layer with eggplant, followed by the passata, some breadcrumbs, some parmesan cheese, and basil, and then another layer of the eggplant. And you just keep layering until you come to the top. Finally, beat two eggs and cover the top, which will give it that nice golden colour. Once completed your last layer, two eggs. <laughs> in 180 degrees Celsius for about 30 to 40 minutes. See, after 40 minutes, a lovely colour, golden colour. We'll let that sit now for half an hour before we actually cut it. You don't want to cut it fresh out of the oven, it'll just fall apart. Well, it's such a performance. All I want to do is eat this eggplant parmigiana it's damn cold and wet outside, so the day could be worse, but look what I'm eating for lunch, so it's just a nice little surprise. It's a nice taste. <laughs> Enjoy.